Hello and welcome to Investigative Math. This is the first in a series of videos where I show how to multiply mixed numbers in your head. This first trick is known as fraction foil, mainly because it's similar to the foil trick we use for multiplying two-digit numbers. So let's look at an example. We have 5 and 4 ninths multiplied by 9 and 2 fifths. Our first step is to isolate the fractional parts of our mixed numbers. So that will just be our 2 fifths and our 4 ninths. Next thing you want to do is multiply these numbers. 4 ninths times 2 fifths will give us 8 over 45. You want to write that down because that will be the fractional part of your answer. Now the next step, look back at your mixed numbers, and you want to pair the fractional parts with the whole number part of the other number. So what I mean by that is, you take 4 ninths, that will be paired with 9. You take 5, that will be paired with two-fifths. Then what you want to do is multiply those. So four-ninths times nine is four, and five times two-fifths is two, and then add. So four plus two is six. Now you don't want to write this down. What you want to do instead is carry it, maybe just in the back of your mind or in your fingers or whatever you have to do. And then what we do next is multiply the whole number parts of your mixed numbers, so five and nine. Five times nine is 45. And then you wanna bring back that carry that you have in the back of your mind or on your fingers and add it to the 45. 45 plus six is 51, and that will be the whole number part of your answer. So five and four ninths times nine and two fifths will give you 51 and eight 40 fifths. All right, so let's look at the next problem. So 3 and 1 sixth multiplied by 12 and 2 thirds. So the first thing we got to do is multiply the fractional parts of our mixed numbers. So we have 1 sixth multiplied by 2 thirds. That gives you 2 over 18, which will simplify to 1 ninth. So we'll write that. And then we'll move on to our next step, which will be to pair the fractional parts with the whole number parts. So 1 sixth will be paired with 12, and 3 will be paired with 2 thirds. So 1 sixth times 12 is 2. 3 times 2 thirds is also 2, which added together will give you 4. And then you're just going to want to carry that. Don't, don't write it down yet. And then multiply the whole number parts. So 3 times 12 gives you 36. And then you add back that carry. So 36 plus 4 is 40, and that's your whole number part. So 3 and 1 sixth times 12 and 2 thirds will give you 40 and 1 ninth. And one other thing to note, a very important part of this trick is that this pairing the fraction to the whole number, when you do that, when you multiply those two numbers, you want to make sure they're a whole number, or else you're not going to be able to do the, the carrying in this next step. So let's say you had um, let's see, you had three and one sixth times twelve and one fourth. So our first step would be to multiply these two numbers, one sixth times one fourth, and that would give you one twenty fourth. And then you would pair you would pair your sets of numbers, your one sixth and your twelve, and then your three and your one fourth. One sixth times twelve is two, but three times one fourth is three fourths. And so that makes it a lot more difficult to carry, and you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna end up using a different trick for this question and questions like this. And so whenever you're gonna use this trick, make sure that these will multiply to a whole number before you start writing things down. Okay, and that's it. So if you have any questions about other tricks, just let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to make a video about it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.